Welcome to Cinema Stories. In this video we review the story about Singhim 3. After arresting drug smuggler Danny, Dhurai Singhim and Kavya are got married. Meanwhile, a tough debate occurs in Andhra Pradesh State Assembly about the long-pending murder case of Vizek City Police Commissioner Ramakrishna. The Home Minister of Andhra Pradesh proposes recruiting Singhim from Tamil Nadu to Vizek as the new Deputy Commissioner of Police by order under the Central Bureau of Investigation. Then, Dhurai Singhim is hired to close the police commissioner Ramakrishna murder case by two months. When Dhurai Singhim receives order, Kavya also planned to work in her company in Vizek. For Kavya's security purpose Singhim tells is unmarried. Selvam and Gun Ravi. Both are working for Vizek most powerful Dawn and business owner MS Reddy. Selvam sends Ravi and his goon to attack Dhurai Singhim in train station. Dhurai Singhim fights with them, defeats Ravi and his men. Vidya who follows Singhim from train station to police station. She introduces herself as a student and gets Dhurai Singhim's autograph. Singhim meets Inspector Shubha Rao, Officer Srinivas and Constable Anwand. Singhim starts to behave as a corrupt police and throws case file, but secretly investigates the murder of Commissioner. M.S. Reddy scolds Selvam and Ravi for assaulting a Dhurai Singhim unnecessarily in train station. M.S. Reddy calls Vital Prasad who is a businessman lives in Sydney. He ships garbages from medical and electronic factories in exchange for free steel supplies for his company, Whittle Steels. Whittle calls his dad, who is Ram Prasad, aviation minister in India, to investigate Durai Singhim when he gets information of his arrival by Reddy. Constable Viram, who used to live in Durai Singhim's neighboring town and honestly loves Singhim, affirming that Bhai and Danny are at present in jail. While Thangaraj was sentenced for capital punishment, Viram inquiring about the health of Singhim's family and about his marriage. Other polices are confused since he expressed he was unmarried. Singhim lets Viram know that both are separated, which is subsequently uncovered as a cover to keep her safe. When Vidya makes frequent visits to Singhim, Singhim dislikes and avoids her. Viram and Vidya become friends in their common interests. Later, Singhim and Viram went to mall where Reddy's men took customs officer's child. Singhim noticed and follows them. They asked him to make his signature in customs file to clear Reddy's containers from port. They threaded him to abuse his wife and kill his child. Singhim fights them and saved them. You're watching Cinema Stories. Please subscribe our channel and hit bell button for more video. Singham visits customs officer, says plan to capture more containers, and gets signature. Singham, Shubha Rao, and Viram are in hotel. Vidya came and gets Singham's reference signature for her police service examination. Kavya asks Singham to meet her in room number 406, where Shubha Rao seen them. Then, Singham revealed as a cover to keep her protected. Singham finds that a constable at the station has gotten sick from consuming an expired medicine tablet. Then Singhim tasks to Srinivas to investigate about the medicine. He finds that the medicine tablet was supplied without a permit under Reddy's authority and that the medicine originates from Australia. Then Singhim starts to investigate the case and inquires Ramakrishna's family. The commissioner is from Krishna Raj who works with commissioner and was killed on that night. Singhim calls her daughters to inquire. She stops Singhim then tells that Krishna Raj, the assistant commissioner touched them inappropriately when he came to inquire. Krishnaraj also told Singhim earlier that he had no knowledge of calling Ramakrishna. All officers believe that. But Singhim thought it was a fake report. Then he decides to hack Tele network server. So, Singhim hires a hacker named Murli to hack into the cell company's network server and they can form that assisted commissioner Krishnaraj called Commissioner Ramakrishna. Also find that a call took place for a few seconds during the commissioner's murder to a man named Malaya. Singhim meets Selvam in a bar. One of Reddy's men who authorized the attack at the train station. Suspecting him of murdering the commissioner. Singham team searches his house and finds a firearm and Australian money. Meanwhile Whittle receives information from his manager, then calls Reddy. Who calls Singham and assures him that Selvam is permitted to have them. Singham team left his house. On next day, Viram and Srinivas show Singham Andhra Today book, an article written about, Singham being a corrupt police officer and he exported ready for personal gain and questioned about room number 406. Putting Singham's reputation at edge. Written by an author Agni.
Who's revealed to be with a thrilling article in Vizik and she chooses to portray Singhim. Singhim's family and home minister Ramnathan are confused by the article and Reddy suggests to Singhim to keep his head down. Reddy nod to arrest his men. Andhra Pradesh Home Minister and Tamil Nadu Home Minister called Singhim and inquiries about a status report on the Karen case. Singhim explains his way of approach in this case. Shubha Rao called Singhim and told Malaya is a assistant commissioner Krishna Rajay's car driver. After commissioner murder he took long medical leave. Singhim team went to Malaya's native for investigation. Malaya revealed that Reddy killed commissioner. Assisted commissioner Krishna Raj were in the spot. Singhim now understand all the reports are fake and mobile location of criminals were modified in cell company's network server. The next day, Singhim sends the entire force of Vizik to arrest every suspected criminal in the city including Reddy's men. You are watching Cinema Stories. Please subscribe our channel and hit bell button for more video. Then he arrested assistant commissioner Krishna Raj. Reddy at first tolerates Singhim's arrests but becomes suspicious when he arrests too many of his men. Reddy's man, Selvam is killed. Then Singhim team went to Andhra Today media office inquiring about Agni. Now Singhim knows Vidya is actually a journalist tasked to write a thrilling article. She was arrested for disturbing police officer duties and published a false news about a police officer. She paid penalty in court and come out. Later, Singhim team found a man who was frequently visited to meet commissioner. And tracked, he is a school teacher. He illuminates Singhim that a harmful smoke assault from the close by dump killed his 32 students, including his grandkids. He said that all political persons and pollution department and doctors reported students killed by food poison. Singhim team went to garbage dump and found all medical waste and electrical waste all from Australia. Singhim understands that Ramakrishna intended to expose illegal dumping of electronic waste and medical waste which included tablets being sold to the public and the smoke attack on the school. So, Reddy killed police commissioner. The garbage is being imported by Vizek Scraps owner Rajiv Krishna in exchange for free metal scrap delivery to steel factories in Australia. Reddy sent Ravi to kill school teacher. Meanwhile Singhim went harbour to open Whittle Steel's shipped containers. Reddy sent his men to kill Singhim. Who opened containers? That all are medical waste and electrical waste. He took snaps. Reddy's men try to kill Singhim. He fights with them, while Ravi chasing school teacher to kill. Teacher called Singhim and tells. Ravi killed teacher. Singhim arrives too late. Whittle calls Singhim anonymously with Reddy and Rajiv on the line and threatens to kill Singhim's family if he continues with the case. Singhim planned he must get to the bottom of who Reddy's boss is. He starts with chasing down and arresting Ravi. He enters into Reddy's house and arrests him and put into jail. Singham discloses the secrets of the case with Home Minister. Then decides to visit Australia to see who was speaking with him anonymously in phone. Singham comes Australia with his wife Kavya. Pushparaj, who is Kavya company's dealer, receives them. Singham send drone camera to see about Whittle company. Singham visit Whittle's office and get Wi-Fi password. While hacker Murli copies Whittle's confidential files. Whittle send his men to kill Singhim. Whittle frames Singhim as drug smuggler try to escape from Australia. So, in airport Singhim stopped by Australian police. Singhim explains that he is a Indian police officer and arrested drug smuggler Danny who killed Australian police in international sea border. Then, Australian police respect him and send. When Singham returns, Shubha Rao tells that Reddy has been bailed by three criminals who framed the commissioner for supposed assault on one of their spouses. And justify the murder as vengeance. Singham is likewise terminated from the CBI for speaking out of turn. But Singham requests Home Minister transfer him as a Andhra Pradesh cop in Vizek to continue pursuing Reddy's case. Then Singham killed two of three criminals, those help Reddy to come out and framed they became approver against Reddy. So, Reddy goon killed them. When Singhim stopped Whittle's shipped containers in harbour, Whittle rushed to India, forced Singhim to meet him in his office. Whittle tells Dhurai Singhim to stay out of his way, and close Reddy's case file, and release all containers. Singhim team start with chasing down and gun firing against Reddy and his men, killed one by one. Finally Shubhu Rao killed Reddy, whom previously killed his 9-year-old son in a city riot to defend Ram Prasad's position. Then later, the honest customs officer transferred, and containers are released. 
Gwen Singham knows, stops containers in roadway and reveals Whittle's containers to the press. Singham calls Whittle to his police station and gives him another chance to repent for whom he's hurt. Singham and Kavya later visit Tutukudi to attend Kavya's grandma's funeral. They are followed by Rajiv who sends Singham and Kavya photo to Whittle. Singham notices Rajiv and arrested him. When Vidya attempts to interview Whittle who understands she came for help him. She is captured and beaten, then drugged. Whittle demands Singham to release Rajiv and Singham should be in Tutukudi otherwise he will kill Vidya. With help from Murli, Singham arranged duplicate SIM card to locate in Tutukudi and went to Vizik. Singham finds a vehicle belonging to Whittle's men and traces it to a hospital. Rescues Vidya from an hospital and admitted in Kavya's factory hospital. Whittle calls professional killer from Mumbai to kill Singham. Killer bombs Vizek police station and attempt to kill Singham in roadway, injuring Srinivas who is sent to the hospital. Singham decides to finish this once and for all and gets an arrest warrant against Whittle. Using computer evidence of agreements signed with medical companies, hacked by Murli. And video statement of Rajiv in front of Tutukudi magistrate and commissioner. The very next day, Murli track his mobile number and find all the way to Hyderabad. Whittle being hides in container truck and escaped to Telangana and got flight, even Singham stops flight and has him arrested. Whittle escapes custody into a nearby forest, where Singham catches him and after a long fight, Singham kills Whittle, who dies there. Singham regains his post and respect while Ram Prasad is fired out from cabinet position for assisting his son. Kavya is revealed to be six months pregnant and Vidya severs contact with Singham after getting engaged to a good prospect. Singham receives a call from Home Minister Ramanathan who calls him for another mission. Thank you very much for watching this video. Like and subscribe our channel.